Welcome to the Field Guide, a series of tutorial videos for Escape from Tarkov by Battlestate Games. In this series, we'll introduce newcomers to the mechanics and nuances of the game and divvy out the knowledge of experienced players. In Escape from Tarkov, you play as an operator of a PMC, or private military company. You're stuck in the battle-ravaged city of Tarkov. The territory is cordoned off, all exits are blocked and guarded, your headquarters has gone radio silent, and your previous tasks and orders no longer have any meaning at all. Now everyone here has their own goals. To survive, to escape the blockade, or to stay in the city and establish their own order. In this video, we'll cover the basics. Character equipment, looting, healing, and navigating through the locations. In addition, we'll cover raids and the game's objectives. We'll have a separate detailed video about each of these mechanics, so stay tuned. In the game, you enter raids, which are small game sessions of about 20 to 30 minutes. It is in these raids that you can loot items needed for crafting, trading, character upgrades, or completing trader tasks, which will help you learn more about what really happened in Tarkov. But a raid in Tarkov is not a cakewalk. Here you gotta pay close attention to your health, the environment, sounds, or otherwise you're cooked. There's a lot of ways to die in Tarkov. Bullet wounds, blood loss, poisoning, exhaustion, and even dehydration. Just hesitating can kill you, and if you don't manage to leave the location before the raid timer expires, you'll go MIA. With any death, you'll lose everything you were carrying as well as what you found in the raid. Be careful and keep your eyes open. We're going to explore all aspects of the game by using easy to understand examples. Here we are, spawned in the raid. The first thing to do is to check the available exits. By pressing the O key once, the current time remaining until the end of the raid will appear in the upper right corner. And when you double tap O, the list of available exits will be displayed. The list of exits will vary, however, depending on the spawn point of your PMC. Time to check your gear. By pressing the tab key, you can access your inventory while in raid. In it, you can switch tabs to see your gear, health status, location maps if available, quests from traders, and more. On the left, you can see the character slots. They're going to contain your gear and your weapons. Your equipment, the most important of which is armor, protects vital parts of your body from bullets and shrapnel. Weapons. You can carry two main weapons on your sling and on your back. A pistol and a holster, and a melee weapon. Use the one, two, or three keys to switch between weapons. Tactical rig. It usually contains your primary ammunition, grenades, and medical supplies. Your chest rig gives you quick access to your combat gear. For example, during a normal reload with the R key, you will take out a loaded magazine from the rig and put the empty ones in it afterwards. If there's no magazines in it, you will not be able to reload even if you have a full backpack of ammunition. Most items in the rig can be assigned to a quick access panel. Pockets are similar to tactical rigs, albeit much smaller in capacity. They're perfect for bandages, painkillers, or grenades. All items picked up in the raid are going to be immediately put in your backpack. The bigger it is, the more you can carry. You can put any item in your backpack, even weapons, but be aware that you won't be able to take them out quickly. Your pouch is very important in Tarkov. We've already mentioned that you can lose everything you find in a raid when you die. The pouch, on the other hand, allows you to keep the items you have stored in it. It's a unique, secure container. At the very beginning, you start with Alpha or Gamma, depending on the edition of the game you've purchased. Secure containers are extremely rare, and more spacious versions are given out for special achievements in the game. Your best friend in a raid is your weapon, and it's worth learning the basics of weapon handling. Pressing the B key toggles the fire mode. There are free fire modes in total, and we tell you more about them in future videos. The combination of Alt plus B allows you to check the current fire mode on the weapon without making sound. The combination of Alt T allows you to check the number of rounds in a magazine. In Escape from Tarkov, General Endurance is divided into two types, Leg Endurance and Arm Endurance. The former is consumed by running, jumping, and frequent crouching. Arm Endurance is consumed when aiming or ADSing. Your character can lean sideways by pressing the Q and E keys. Make a short left or right sidestep by pressing Alt plus Q and E. You can adjust your lean angle by pressing Alt plus A and D. 
By using the C key and the mouse wheel, you can adjust the position of your character's stance, or crouch height. In raids, you'll meet not only other PMCs, but also various factions that pose a danger. Some residents of Tarkov decided to take up arms, both civilians and representatives of local gangs. Even police officers did not stay on the sidelines. Many people are tracked in Tarkov simply not having a chance to get out, but some also decided to stay voluntarily. Both are forced to survive by any means necessary. They're called the Scavs. The strength of the Scavs is not in their first-class equipment or their high level of weapon skills. Their strength is in numbers. The Scavs move in groups, looting and ravaging everything in their path, and they can be a problem for any lone PMC in a raid. Looting is an integral part of Escape from Tarkov. In Raid, you can pick up items from the floor, tables, shelves, inspect medicine boxes and bags, and check the corpses of other players, or scavs, for valuable items. Simply approach them until the corresponding option appears, and press F. The loot you pick up will be stored in a free slot in your In Raid inventory. This scav has a gear rig and a backpack on him, which you must first search for valuables. Click on the outlined area to start looting. All items differ in value. What to keep and what to throw away is up to you, but remember, there's nothing that's useless in Tarkov. In the scav's backpack, we find several items. A graphics card is very valuable loot. It is required both in many quests and when upgrading your hideout. In addition, you'll get a lot of money for it at the flea market or at the traders. You're very lucky if you find a graphics card on the corpse of a player or on a dead scav. So don't lose it. Canned food might seem like unnecessary crap in the middle of a war, but in reality it can save your life. In the raid, your energy and hydration levels are constantly decreasing. When these values drop to zero, you're going to consistently lose health from exhaustion, and your stamina and its recovery rate will drop significantly. You can eat this canned food and restore your energy and hydration levels on the spot. A lighter might seem useless, especially if you don't smoke, but it's required for some barters and quests, as well as for upgrading your hideout, so grab it. Now that we have found and taken several valuable items, it's time to extract from the location. To do this, we gotta find an exit point. Now we have a list of available exits. At first glance, the names don't tell you jack. But this isn't entirely true. For example, we need an exit called Gate 3. Well, the number 3 is written on the gate right in front of us, so most likely the exit is right behind it. You'll be able to navigate better and find the necessary exits faster if you carefully examine your surroundings and familiarize yourself with the area. Now it's time to talk about medicine and the health system and escape from Tarkov. At this very exit, we encountered an ambush, this time from a PMC. short firefight ended successfully for us, but now we're wounded. This cannot be ignored. You can fully inspect the state of your PMC in the Health tab. The total health of the character is 440 HP, which is divided into seven body parts. Each of them can lose health individually. When a body part reaches zero HP, it's considered to be destroyed or blacked out, as most players call it. Now, it can't be healed with normal types of medicines, such as first aid kits, so to restore it, you gotta find a specialized surgical kit. Back to our raid. After the battle, we suffered a light bleeding in our left arm. We can stop it with a bandage, but if bleeding and more severe injuries are ignored, your character will lose health in the raid, and this can lead to death. To treat light bleeding, find the bandage in your inventory. Press the right mouse button and click Use. To restore health points, select an available first aid kit and repeat the steps. First aid kits restore the missing health points in the wounded part of the body. Some exits are always available, and some are only under certain circumstances. The latter are marked with question marks. You can check if certain exits are available from afar by looking at things like active lights, spotlights, or even green smoke. Some exits may even require cash to pay. For those, you gotta have a certain amount of money with you. Other exits may require special items, such as a paracord or even a special key. While you're in a spot that's gonna extract you, a timer appears in the upper right corner and in the center of the screen. You will leave the map when it reaches zero. 
Exit times can range from a few seconds to even a couple of minutes. We successfully extracted from the raid and returned to the in-game hideout, taking several valuable items with us. So, today we discuss the following game aspects. Main raid objectives, weapon handling basics, basic healing and looting skills, navigation on location, and the extractions. In the next video, we'll cover the more comprehensive aspects of PMC health management and break down the medical equipment available, so stay tuned for more announcements. Thanks for watching.